Now here's SUNUP's Dave Deacon, who found his way to Lincoln County for this week's Centennial Farm. Red bricks lead you to Davenport, Oklahoma, and they make up the town. Just south of there, off of a rural Lincoln County road, you'll find the red bricks strewn across the ground of Israel Royer's farm. The main house and farm were originally given to Israel by Sac and Fox Chief Moses Keokuk. The chief gave it to my grandfather, all the land and everything around here. So when the government homestead for 160 acres, they came and told my grandfather he had to run for it. He said, I own this farm, the chief gave it to me. He said, I don't care, it comes out of the lot in that area, it's into the homestead 160 acres. So my grandfather, my grandmother told me that he went over to Creek County line and run then when they had homesteaded this. And so that's how it come us to be here and we've been here ever since. Did I mention that Hortense was born on this farm 97 years ago? In all of those years, they never went hungry. The earth provided enough food for them and the county. So daddy would gather, grow all those vegetables and cantaloupes and watermelons and green beans and anything he could sell and he would pedal at that truck to the oil field. He raised sweet potatoes, and he was known as the sweet potato king around here in Lincoln County. He kept fire all winter long after you dug your sweet potatoes till they were cured out. And we did that several years, and then one year they, the house caught on fire in the night and burned up. People in the area got lots of baked sweet potatoes, you know. Not only did the family lose their sweet potato house, but years later, the original house of Chief Keokuk became this, one night after a single bolt of lightning hit it. But the family has never given up on the land. Do you think that the farm will stay in your family for well, years? I know it will. If they don't, I'm going to haunt everybody that lives here and comes here. <laughs> I plan to pass it on to my son. So the Israel Royer Farm, red bricks and all, will be in the family for another hundred years. Yeah, I like this place. I wouldn't. It's just home to me.